It's been a crazy finals matchup. Uh, can't wait to talk about it, right? And with that, the 2023 Sock League season has come to an end. We're now in 2024. Well, let's take a look back. Catch you up. Zach did indeed beat he Trevor. He pulled it off. He pulled it off. I do want to say that I did predict him to win the whole thing right when the playoffs started. He did. He picked it, Trevor. It, it, it should have been. If you looked back at our, our match or preview prediction record, it you should have went with Adam. You know, I usually was really good at picking the losers. And you, you did have Trevor going the whole way, and he did get the whole way, but did not win. The he guy did. I thought was going to win one. And then I, I did beat Matt. I was the first person to force Matt to lose an AIDS bowl, shockingly. So Matt is this year's big loser. And Zach is the big winner. Um, it was a crazy game. It was. It was You're referring to me versus James, right? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, it was very close. For most of it, uh, I think when CD dropped 40, that, you know, you were kind of leaning towards Zach, thinking, man, that's not good. Because he had, what, 40, like 70-something after the first game with Montgomery and Dak, too? Yeah, yeah it was... Uh... Yeah, Dak, yeah. CD, and Montgomery combined for a lot of points. 82? 40, 50, 60. Oh, yeah, 70, 70, 72. 70. So it was it was 72. To nothing. To nothing. After, after Thursday. Yeah. So you're sitting there and Zach's like, oh, I got this in the bag. Yeah. I think I think in my brain I was still like, Trevor definitely has a chance. Like, he has guys that could also put up 40. Yeah. Uh, and then more games happened. One o'clock games were going on. I forgot if there was a Saturday game. There were... There were I think it was just one. I forgot. Just one. Oh, it was the, Tyler Conklin. Yeah. He got 9.5, which was... Huge. Decent for Trevor. Uh, but then, yeah, the 1 o'clock games go along. You find out CD gets... Or not CD. Uh, CMC gets hurt. Hurts the calf. Doesn't score the touchdown. You're thinking, this guy might get 40. Only gets 13. Trevor, coming back, looking pretty good. Lamar, 36. They just blew out... Uh, Miami. Miami, uh, but then, you know, why aren't they throwing the ball to A.J. Brown? Oh, Zeke had two points midway through the third quarter. Oh, this isn't maybe as good. But then Kittle also wasn't really getting it going. Evans didn't do much besides, like, a big play. And then right towards the end of that 1 o'clock uh, window, C.D. Lamb, or not C.D. Why do I keep saying CD Lamb? CD's Lambs. <laughs> CD's Lambs. Devontae Adams caught like a touchdown in the fourth, and then caught another one on like the last drive. And it, that got him all the way up to 37.6 points and gave Zach a. Because Trevor also had everybody playing at one. So he had nobody going in the four o'clock windows. So he needed uh, like 15 points out of Joe Mixon and Tyler Lockett. At that point, I think you're feeling pretty good for Zach. I was with Zach, so he was still nervous, but it was also like a little more confident there. Trevor yeah. lost some hope at that point. Um, and then Lockett did nothing, but Mixon scored a touchdown early and then kept getting a few yards, caught a few passes, ended up getting 18. Lockett ended up with a catch for like 10 yards, two points, and Zach pulled away by only four points. And that is how the cookie crumbles. There's so many, like, what, what ifs, ifs in this scenario that could easily change. Yeah. What if Zach doesn't trade for Dak and starts Jared Goff, Goff, who had 10 less points, and loses? What if Tyreek Hill catches a touchdown that he had dropped early on in that Ravens game? Yeah. That would be an extra six points, which means Trevor would win by two. What if Trevor played D 
DK over... I know he was thinking about uh, playing him over Zeke. Zeke, but if he plays him over Pittman, that's enough to get it done. Uh, if What happens if Hawkinson doesn't get hurt? Minnesota did not look good, but Hawkinson does average about 15 points a game. I think it's like 14.5, so exactly five more than what Conklin does, which would give him the win by one point, less than a point. Less than a point would be like a... Point seven six, which would be a wild championship. Yeah, that would have been not, especially coming down to Sunday night on New Year's Eve. Yeah, <laughs> would have been crazy. Uh, yeah, there were so many plays. The the CD huge touchdown that got him and Dak a ton of points, where the defender basically just ran right by Dak, just didn't hit him and just like whiffed, and then they got a ninety seven yard touchdown or whatever it's like something like that that's a crazy swing it's literally like probably like 20 something points all around when yeah. you have both the qb and the receiver obviously there's things that zach could have done different too if he plays like an aaron jones or Jaden reed for tyler lockett he looks really good uh but man it was cmc doesn't get hurt obviously could have had more points there but man it was the hell of a way to end the year. It was a crazy game. What if Miami, like, kept up in that game? How many points would have Lamar put up? <laughs> yeah, if they didn't have to go to, if they didn't go to Tyler Huntley. In the yeah, fourth. it would have been crazy. But this is the way the cookie crumbles. Zach goes back-to-back. Back, first person ever with two. First person ever to go back-to-back. Back. <laughs> now the question everyone has in their mind is, does he go for three? That, that is... I think the question moving forward, uh, it's crazy that he won it again. Uh, Especially after, again, five straight years of five different champions. Yeah, this is the first Yeah, repeat. No new champ. We'll see if we get one next year. First person with his name going to be on the trophy twice. Uh, that's already... Don't even have to move the trophy. Yeah. You just got to mail the plaque to him. Yeah, it's already in the mail. I already ordered it. <laughs> there you go. Um, man. And he did it with, like, the same core. He won it last year, said, I'm going to rock with the same thing and run it back, and it worked. Yeah. Which is, like, crazy. Crazy. Managed to stay pretty much healthy. Lost Ramondre, who he traded for. But other than that, like, most of the year stayed pretty strong. And, again, a lot of the time it's, like, if you're healthy at the end of the year, it's, like, I wonder if this is a different game with Trevor, again, with Hawkinson and – if, like, Jacobs is playing, Jacobs normally averages, like, 13, 14 points a game. You play him over probably, like, Zeke or something. It's just being healthy at the end of the year is a huge part of winning in the fantasy playoffs. And Zach's managed to kind of pull that off two years in a row. Yeah, so congratulations again to Zach. Um, now we'll, uh, we'll come back, and then we're going to do uh, – like a season recap. I got a lot of a lot, lot of a lot of good stuff. A lot of stuff to talk about. When we come back, Adam Rambles. <laughs> All right. Here I've got some uh kind of stats about the year that we're going to kind of talk about. Um first you, say, you say we. Are you trying to speak French or something? <laughs> Me. All right. So this year, um, we had one team added to the top, like, 10 best scores ever. Uh, Trevor put up 195.86 week 13. Uh, that's good for the ninth best score all time. Uh, this was, I think, uh, this year and then 2021 are the only years we didn't have anybody break 200 points. So Trevor did put up the highest with 195.86. It's also going to be um, interesting to see how many teams get there next year with the addition of a flex spot. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking also with these. It's like I'm going to have to probably do something. And it's also like we might have like a merger. It'll be like pre-extra flex post or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see how like drastic it actually gets. Because it's like, oh, this guy had the best season ever. And it's like, oh, now that's okay. Or so like. Team-wise, I don't know. 
Um, worst scores, because like who's gonna get a worse? You got an extra player. It's like your scores are bound to be better. So maybe it'll that'll be like a post merger. You would think. But I was the only person to get added to this list. I was the also the ninth worst score ever with fifty seven point two six. So I joined the list of Matt, Zach, Ethan, Ryan. <laughs> all the people with the worst scores ever uh there was one blowout added that was over 100 points so our eighth biggest point differential ever uh ethan when he played who who did he play oh, oh it was ryan uh when he won 171.62 to 69.78 good F for fun fact if i played zach week 17 with that whole roster Zach would just have to play C.D. Lamb and Devontae Adams to beat me. But, uh, yeah, he won by 101.84 uh, week three. Um, and this year we also only added one of our closest games of all time, and that was the Trevor and Steve playoff game. Uh, it was our ninth closest game ever, 1.16 points. Uh, obviously was an insane matchup very close and uh is that our first playoff matchup on the list? yeah first playoff ma uh, yeah i think so i didn't write down the weeks of the pre-2020 ones but i believe so i don't remember a playoff matchup ever being this close yeah it was i said that i did say yeah, that, yeah. It, it was i think closest, closest playoff closest matchup ever was like me versus tory and that finished with like four or four five. or five or something yeah, yeah. uh so yeah insane uh, Griff has joined the list of teams that finished an entire season with less than three losses. Uh, he joined Jasmus last year, Cherry in 2020, Cherry 2021, him, and now also James in 2018. So we've had, uh, five of those seasons and he has joined in. And then this year we had James and also Matt joined in the two winner less seasons where we have... Matt at 0-13, Zach at 1-12, Cherry 2-12, James and Matt 2-12, Ethan 2-11, and, and Cherry 2-11. And so we have seven seasons where people did not reach three wins. Um, we have five where people did not reach three losses. Yes. And uh, this one, we've had one every year of the two winner losses besides 2021 and did not have one in... 2019 three or less win seasons that 2019 like so what you're really saying is your championships are fake are fake right or i just got unlucky and didn't sweep the league or i won in the most competitive year ever you lost to me man it wasn't that competitive i won it all that year and everybody had a chance and i'm pretty sure you also lost to matt yeah yeah how did I not go undefeated? <laughs> but that was also like Matt's playoff year. Playoff year. Hey, he got there. Um, Trevor and Griff and Zach joined the top 10 most points scored seasons ever. Uh, Trevor is good for third all time behind Cherry 2020 and Jasper's 2022. Uh, then there's two of me, a James, and then we have Griff. So Griff is seventh highest scoring season of all time, and Zach had the tenth highest scoring season of all time, which kind of shows that uh, I think how we kind of talked about it this year, because we also had three of the lowest scoring seasons ever: uh, James with the sixth lowest, Ryan you with the seventh lowest, and Matt with the eighth lowest. And I think that kind of goes to show that we talked about how there was a really big talent, like those three, four teams at the top that were very good, and then a few teams at the bottom that were really bad compared to some of these other years where it might be a little bit more spread out. It was like we had some of the best seasons ever and some of the worst seasons ever, points-wise. Yeah, I, I, I'm taking a peek over, and I'm like, man, I see my name in a lot of the bad columns. This is your... Oh, you were on there twice. Yeah. In the lowest. And then, uh, yeah. Wait. I was going to see if Matt was on there every year. No, he's only has four. 
only uh, a 66 percent hit rate i'm glad i got off these are the teams that got off i'm glad i got off of the lowest point scored ever list so that's good and surprisingly no one was really that unlucky this year there's not a single person that joined the top 11 most unlucky seasons ever well that's good so it wasn't like points scored against wise where i think like I think it was like me, Evan was up, me and Evan I think were up there for points against. Evan had 1775, I had 1745, uh, and then you were also over, and Zach was also over, but like, yeah, Evan was in first, I was in second, but yeah, the 11th is 1836, so huh. I don't know if, like, it just kind of worked out pretty even, I guess, this year of like schedule wise no one was super super unlucky or really really lucky because i think the easiest schedule was or i guess steve got pretty lucky with only 1518 i don't have lucky seasons ever maybe i'll add that at some point but yeah maybe i'll do that not now but eventually eventually but yeah so no one got super unlucky um then looking at the postseason, obviously, the big one, Trevor goes to 0 and 4 in the finals. I can't believe it. You know, I, you got to feel for him. I know, I, I do. This is like the, how Buffalo Bills fans must have felt in the 90s. Didn't they lose like three or four Super Bowls in a row? Yeah, it's crazy because he's always there and just can't. I don't want to say can't get it done because you drop one fifty six. Like you're probably like that. That's a good shot to win. I think me on the like the space me Trevor and Zach were talking about it, but like when this year he had two guys drop basically forty against him. Last year he had Mike Evans drop like forty or fifty against him. When I beat him, I think Saquon had like almost fifty against him, and I I forgot what we said about his other matchup. But it's like every year he got there, it's like someone against him scores 50. And it's like, how how do you compete when you're facing someone that scored half of 100 points? Like, it's. But also, that makes the loss of finals club more exclusive than the. Yeah. The loss of finals club is only you, Trevor, Jasmine, and myself. Yeah. So. If you want to like get, we've only this... had in six years we've had three people lose in the finals, and we've had five different winners. Yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously, Zach got to two. First one mentioned that a lot. I think it is interesting. Zach is six and one in the playoffs, and on a six-game playoff winning streak. Yeah, that's you don't want to run into Zach into the playoffs. No. Uh, yeah, Trevor sits at six and six all time in the playoffs. It's uh, still four, four of those being in the finals. Yeah, six and two in the first two rounds. 0-4 in the last. Uh, Ethan fell to 3-2 this year. Steve got to the playoffs. 0-1, the uh, Jasmus's record went to 2-4. and four. He had that one good run, but hasn't really managed anything else since. Uh, hey, my at four my and playoff four. record still looks pretty good. Yeah, 2-1. and one. Nice, I'm also 2-1. and one. But My finals record looks... Uh, yeah, and then the division champs this year was Ethan and Griff. Griff got his first. Ethan also got his first. Surprising. I feel like Ethan's been a pretty good team for a while now, but apparently there's always someone better. Last year he got unlucky, and yeah, I guess before that he was kind of still rebuilding. Also kind of shocking, Griff got his first. I guess, like, Trevor does have three, so. And then Cherry was dominant for those years, so yeah, it's kind of hard to win the division there, but he got one. Um, and then, yeah, Trevor got his first scoring title in most points. He yeah. scored in a season. Cool there. And then, yeah, Matt got his first AIDS Bowl ring. You only have one repeat AIDS Bowl winner. Yeah, Ethan won, won two. Cherry, Zach, and and the, the late Nate. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's kind of it. If we look at some... Of the uh, the team records and stuff, uh, Trevor got to sixty one wins, which is 
most all time as of right now. He's also played 93 games. So, yeah, next year people are going to be playing their 100th game. Not everybody, but some people. <laughs> Obviously, like the people that joined late, Ethan and Steve, are going to have a way to go. But, uh, and Evan also won't get there. Evan's played the least amount of games he can since he hasn't had the playoffs. But, uh, about me? Me and you are at like the same. But I have one more win. So if you play 16 next year, so. I have to make the playoffs and go to the second round. Yeah, or if you have the bye, go to the championship. I'm not going to have the bye. <laughs> Imagine that a, a 100th game championship game. That'd be electric. But yeah. Close out the first hundred with the uh, where it started. Losing in the championship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine a sock talk where like you and I are like in the playoffs. No. Can't. <laughs> uh, Were we ever in the Did you make the playoffs uh, yeah, the first? Yeah, yeah, yeah you did yeah, the yeah. first year. So we just gotta go back to that. Yeah. <laughs> Years ago. <laughs> This, uh, six years ago. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, Zach got over 500 with his playoff run. So cool to see him being bad to getting that record all the way back up over to 500. Because I think there was a time where, like, he had a worse record than Matt. Yeah, he was the original, like, oh, God, he, this yeah, team sucks. He hit 10 wins 670 days after, like, James did yeah. or something, like... Something ridiculous, but now, yeah, already got back up to 45 and 43, and uh, yeah, it's interesting to kind of see some of the stuff. Maybe we'll talk about it another day, too, more in-depth, but uh, yeah, I thought it was a, a really good year. Any of you have anything to add about the season? Not really. Um you know, I think it was a great year. We had a lot of laughs. Um, some, some very funny moments. Very funny moments. And uh just want to take the time to appreciate every one of you for watching and supporting us doing this. And also being in the league. Yeah, and also being there. Meet um, the people in the league. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy this a lot. Yeah, it, this is great. And, uh, I mean... I can't wait to win again. <laughs> One day. I can't wait to win my first. Maybe. <laughs> uh, and then we might have another segment or something. I don't know. Or maybe this is the end of the show. Who knows? You can find out by if the screen goes black and stays black.